tax uh, deductible organization. When they gave you your tax-free number, what kind of an organization was it? Is it a cult? What do you got here? What is going on? You know, I, I, I'd just like to comment at, at this point that um, one of the founding members of the group is uh, Tipper Gore, the wife of Senator Albert Gore, who happens to be the co-sponsor of the legislation uh, against pir uh, pir uh, anti-piracy laws for the music industry. Senator Gore is on the side of the music industry, okay? So, I mean, I don't think that there's any kind of... Uh... I don't speak for the music industry. I am a parent who is concerned about his children and the First Amendment. The music industry has sold out the singers, the songwriters, and the retailers by bending over for you guys and voluntarily putting on any kind of a okay. sticker. Let me just, let me just uh, say something about that, uh, Ted and, and Frank. And incidentally, there... Donnie, if you want to get in on this, you've got to push hard. Okay. okay. Listen, uh, Ted, there, there are, you know, what the music industry is suggesting is really a continuation of the status quo. For example, here's an album by Marvin Gaye. We can't, okay? see, we can't see it. Okay, Mar go ahead. By Alvin Gaye, Dream of a Lifetime. It says, this album contains lyrical content that may be considered offensive to some listeners. Here is an album by Dougie Fresh that says, warning, sexually explicit lyrics. Uh, Prince's album, Dirty Minds, contains a warning label. But uh, by the same token, Prince's album, uh, Controversy, does not. What's happening is that in the music industry right now, there is labeling, but it's inconsistent. It is not uniform. It is not standard. I think what the Parents Music Resource Center would like to see is some sort of uniform code so that what is offensive for Warner Brothers album, uh, records is offensive for Atlantic and offensive for Columbia. Frank Zappa, you... That's not you, the extent uh, Frank, of their demands. Frank, hold on just a second. You mentioned a moment ago that you were here as a concerned parent and as someone who's concerned about the First Amendment. You've spoken right. eloquently about that second part, the First Amendment. I want to hear you speak now as a concerned parent. There are limits, aren't there? I mean, uh, a 12-year-old kid, a 13-year-old kid is not quite able to handle some of the same stuff that you and I can handle, for example. First of all, there are plenty of nice little books that explain, little books with nice little pictures that will teach very young children the mechanics of sex. If uh -huh. they understand the mechanics of sex, then if they hear something, uh, a reference to something that you might think of as aberrated, they will recognize it as an aberration. And the parent has the responsibility to, to give that information to their children. And if they okay. hear it from someone like you, whom perhaps they admire or like very much, perhaps they don't consider the aberration to be quite that bad. Well, let's talk about something like that. First of all, I resent the way in which you're trying to make me out to be somebody who's, you know, in the aberrated vein. No, no, no. I'm, 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 I forget you. You want to pick someone else? Pick another star. Pick yeah, someone gonna... that is an idol. Pick Prince. Pick uh, Sheila East. I mean, you know, I no, don't no, care. No, no, no. Let's, let's, you like. let, let's take a look at country and western, which is a form of music that the husband and wife team from Tennessee do not want to rate. Do you realize there is no demand for any ratings on country and western albums at all? This is protectionist legislation for Nashville. Tell me about the kinky sex in country and western now. Look, they do have lyrics that are referring to sexual activities. You know, these people are going, oh, sex, it's going to kill us all. But the fact of the matter is, you talk about role models, these albums are mixed but, but, in a way okay. that you can hear every word sung to you by people who have been to prison and are proud of okay, it. Okay, but, but Frank, but Frank... We're not, you know, we're not talking let's, about... Let's, uh, uh, Candy, let's give Donnie a chance to get in here. Frank, I, I, I disagree with you on that. I don't think a little teenager should be watching MTV or, or wherever it's on and be uh, educated from the television about masturbation. I don't think that's where it should come from. And, and forget about that for a moment. Uh, you don't, it, it's not just the masturbation that we're talking about. I mean, some of these lyrics, and, and I'm sure you're as familiar with them as I am, and I've become very familiar with them over the last week or so, because we've been agonizing over what we're going to put on this broadcast and what we're not going to put on. Some of it has some of the most violent, way out kind of sex. I'm talking about chainsaw type material. All right. May I... and, and, you know, that's not the kind of stuff that you want your kids to, 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 to become familiar with, is it, Frank? No, I want them to be able to laugh about it. I want them to see that for what Ted. it is. Well, I, Ted, you know, may I, maybe may I'd I... laugh a little harder if there weren't so many snuff movies out and, and if this were not a reality in our lives today. Well, I don't go to snuff movies, so there are no snuff movie statistics. But I'm telling you, if you keep a child sexually ignorant, is more likely to become a victim of a child molester. Ted, Look at this. How can you tell a kid about a weenie wagger unless he knows what a weenie is? Look, Ted, you know, this is this album, uh, this is an album by Wasp, okay? Wasp has just signed a contract with Capitol Records for one and a half million dollars. Here is their album, I-F-U-C-K, Like a Beast, Animal. And, and is this the kind of album that you want your child to come home with? No. What about Motley Crue? Motley Crue 
has albums that sell uh, double platinum albums, which talk about killing. Not a woman, but a whore. Right, I can Candy, taste I'll, the hate. I'll tell you what. I think we got the idea, and we've had enough examples of it during the course of it that we know what kind of thing we're talking about. So what's the final point? Let's wrap it up. Go ahead. The final point is that children should be educated by their parents, not by rock stars, and that parents have the responsibility to raise their children to understand that love is a tender and caring uh, emotion, not one that destroys and defiles. We don't want to drag our children's minds through the muds. We want to enlighten them and ennoble them. All right, but on the issue now of the rating system, which, believe it or not, is why we decided to do this broadcast tonight, <laughs> what's your point? On the rating system is that something has to be done. A line has been crossed, and the rock industry has gone too far. I think that they admit that they've gone too far, and it's time for some self-restraint. Donny Osmond? Well, I look at the point of view as... Uh, I think you're bringing more attention to it than it needs. If you come up with a rating system, it's going to target an audience to that X-rated or whatever, however it's labeled. And a person like myself who does not want to come out with a Sugar Walls type of song, I want the music to speak for itself, because right now my album has sounded pretty good. I don't want to have to go back there and put in lyrics to avoid the G rating. Frank Zappa. I think that... You should remember, no one is holding a gun to anyone's head saying you must listen to uh, I F U blah 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 like a beast or uh, Sugar Walls. You, you are not obliged to buy this material. There's plenty of instrumental music with no words at all. If you don't want to have your children exposed to anything that you think is dangerous, try classical music, try jazz, try putting music education back into schools so kids know that there is another form of music other than rock and roll and give them a choice during their formative years. Right the script now. of tonight's broadcast, send $2 to Journal Graphics, Box 234 and Sonia Station, New York, New York, 100.